Hi, welcome to this tutorial, another one in my series on proving trig identities. And in this one, what we've got to do is prove that 1 minus cos squared x, all divided by cos x plus 1, is identical to 1 minus cos x. So how do we do this? Well, in the usual way, what you should do is write down a little intro here, and that would be proof. And what we do is we look at our identity and pick generally the more complex side of the identity. And in this case, as it normally is, it's the left-hand side. It looks a lot more complex than what you see here, what with this division and squared functions, a mixture of squared functions and non-squared functions. So I'm going to take the left-hand side. And we can start off by writing LHS for the left-hand side and say what it's identical to. I don't often go for this style, so I'm going to show you that I just normally copy this down. So we'll take that out, but it's up to you what you do. 1 minus cos squared x, all divided by cos x plus 1. Now, what is this identical to? Well, I look across here and I try and get a few ideas. And when I see something like this, 1 minus cos x, and I've got 1 minus cos squared x. This makes me think of a concept called the difference of two squares. I'll show you what I mean. It crops up an awful lot in trig identities that have got squared functions in. Whenever you get something squared, let's say a squared, minus something else squared, the difference, as we say, minus of two squares, this is the square of a and this is the square of b, this is identical to a minus b multiplied by a plus b, or a plus b times a minus b. If you multiply this out, you'll see that you get a squared minus b squared. All right? Now, you should know this identity because you're going to use it, as I say, lots of times in questions like this where we've got the difference between the two squares. This is the square of 1, 1 squared is 1, and this is the square of cos x. So we can actually factorize the top here by using this idea. This becomes 1 minus cos x multiplied by 1 plus cos x. Or you could write 1 plus cos x multiplied by 1 minus cos x. It's up to you which way around you do this. Now this is all divided by cos x plus 1. Now if you look carefully, you'll see that on the top we've got one term consisting of two factors. 1 minus cos x is one factor and the other factor is 1 plus cos x. Now, providing you've got one term on the bottom, we've got two at the moment, but if I imagine this in brackets, it now becomes one term. And cos x plus 1 is the same as 1 plus cos x, and what we've got here is a common factor, both on the top and the bottom. So therefore, I could divide top and bottom by 1 plus cos x. These two would cancel out, so we just cross them out like that, and they go into one another once. So what we've got now is that our identity here is identical to 1 minus cos x. And there you have it proved. And if you put LHS here, then you'd have done this, hopefully, done this, and you would have finished off with is identical to RHS, the right hand side. But because I didn't write in LHS, then we'll just take that back out, all right? And I'll finish on that note. So I hope you've been able to follow this tutorial. Look out for this idea of the difference of two squares then, okay? You'll be surprised how often you can use this. Okay, well, that brings us to the end of this tutorial.